Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 25. What? No. No. <laughs> Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. Today we're at Winnika Lake Disc Golf Course, close to Boulder, kind of by Gun Barrel, Colorado, north of Denver. There's a 9 hole course here, but we're going to do it with a twist. Because it's only 3.3 rated, I wanted to make it a little more interesting, so I took the majority of my discs out of my bag, including my putting putters, and I put in a bunch of random things that I never throw. For instance, a DX AVR from a beginner pack. So we're going to have Siri choose our disc, starting at 1 being the one that's in this putter pocket, which is the DX AVR. Then I have six more putters, six mid ranges, including some really weird ones, 10 fairways, and only three drivers. So 25 total discs. I was gonna make it so that I could putt with my putters once I get inside the circle, but what's the fun in it? Obviously, like every course that I wanna go to, I wanna beat par. I'm hoping this doesn't give me too many bad shots, but that's kind of the point of this whole thing. It's 95 degrees out, which as we all know, is the optimal temperature for disc golf. So let's just get it started. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and 25. What, no. No, it picked freaking one, which is the DX AVR. I'm not gonna move any of these from their positions. I'll just put them right back in their slot because obviously we'll know which number it was. But we have to throw a 425 foot downhill throw with a DX AVR. What the heck? We do have a tailwind, which should help to stable it up a little bit. But this is, yeah, we gotta hope for par in this hole. Mm. Keep flipping. Wow, that wasn't as flippy as I thought. And it kind of got down there a ways. I mean, the hole is tucked into those trees. You can't really see it from the tee. Closer than I thought for the first shot. We might actually have a look, but this, if it keeps giving me shots like that, this is not gonna be too fun. All right, so there's the basket. There's our lie. It says 340. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. We're not 40 feet, we're 80 feet. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and 25. 20. Oh no, this is a Valkyrie that I found in the river in a previous video. What the heck is this? So there's a little gap between there. I'll take it. I just, outside, uh, outside the circle. Big, big skip. Pick a number between one and 25. Five, okay, we got a putter. That's good. Is the pier. We actually kind of got a look. Didn't warm up putting. Doesn't matter, let's go. That was scary. What a wild par to start. Why am I so happy I got a par? But hey, hole two, 282, so it should be manageable with almost any disc in here. Just really have to manipulate the angles. Pick a number between one and 25. 12. Ooh, that's the second to last of the mids. 11, 12. Oh, it's a meteor. We can flick it, but I'm thinking just a big turnover line. Oh, that's a great looking shot. That's oh, a little bit too much, but ooh, I was very wrong. This is way closer than I thought it was. Pick a number between one and 25. This feels like a gimme, so that's good. Number one. Oh, this is the only one I don't want because it's lightweight. It's 147, so. Birdie, let's go under par in this challenge. Kind of funky that they've chosen one twice already. All right, here we are, hole three. 254 feet straight ahead of us there. Pick a number between one and 25. Oh no, the service is bad. It says 10, okay, eight, nine, 10. Oh, well this is good, this is what I bag. It's an Emac Truth. If I throw this one bad, we got bad things coming for the whole challenge. <laughs> Still, uh, that's short. I threw that, it slipped out of my hands a little bit and a little too nose out. All right, this is honestly much further away than it should be. We're outside the circle. Pick a number between one and 25. 20, again? Wait, why are you 20 again? The Valkyrie again, so. Drop. Oh, hits a metal. Pick a number between one and 25. Uh, 19, okay, so, oh my gosh. My Thunderbird, which I do bag. It's like my favorite fairway, but I don't bag it to putt with it, so. Get in, yes. All right, found a little shade. Honestly stoked that I have no bogeys yet. Nine, all right, 280 uphill, straight up kind of by where those cars are. So seven, eight, nine. Oh no, it's the wolf. Not a bad disc for going uphill because this is understable, meaning that when I throw it, it wants to turn to the right. When you throw up a hill, you're throwing it nose up a little bit, so it wants to go to the left. So this should counteract it. So I might just be able to pump this straight at it. Mm. Oh no, it's still turning so much. Oh, I, I did not account for that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's where the fun of this challenge comes in. All right, I'm at least glad that I was right about the power that I needed to get up there. Just a terrible angle. Pick a number between one and 25. Six. All right, it's actually giving us a putter, I think. Sky God four, let's go. It's short, but it's okay. It's a, it's a layup. That way, no matter what, I can't miss. Pick a number between one and 25. 12, again, it, is that the third time it's picked 12? Why does it keep duplicating? 12 is the meteor. Par town on hole five. Hole five. Sign says 317. You just says 280. We'll split the difference. Call it 300 feet. Give me a number between one and 25. Nine. Why does it keep sticking to these numbers? No, is it? Really? It gave me the wolf again. Okay, at least I should have a better idea of how to throw this. 
did not throw it that way. That is so flippy. Why? I'm at like 5,500 feet elevation. What the heck? Oh my gosh. That's so bad. Give me a number between 1 and 25. It's at 12 again. Why? That's so annoying. Uh, that's bad. Sit though. Sit, sit. Sit. Stop rolling. Please. Gross. 15. All right. Finally broke out of its comfort zone a little bit. 15, no, I hate this disc. This is my least favorite disc in the challenge. It's the freaking relay, I think. One that I got for being a PDGA member. It's all right. It can make 15 foot pots at least. Okay, hole six looks pretty fun. 314 feet straight ahead of us onto a little tower. Pick a number between one and 25. You're joking. Please tell me you can read. It says nine again. Like why? Why do you keep making me throw this freaking wolf. All right, this time I'm gonna throw it like on this level of hyzer so that it'll flip up. This is, this is so annoying. <sighs> that was not straight at it. Wow, that flipped up so fast and st still turned. Oh my gosh, that's the worst disc in the world. Apparently I can't find the angle with this disc, but my distances are pretty decent, like pretty close to being in line with the basket. Pick a number between one and 25. 20. It's just giving me the same freaking numbers. Left it out way too wide. If this thing chooses either of those numbers one more time, I'm so done. For sure should have just laid up, but 15, 20 ish feet's not bad. Pick a number between one and 25. 14, hey, it's a new one. Oh no, it's a DX Leopard. I hid a whole freaking starter set in here. Now I have to make a 20 foot putt with a DX Leopard. And of course it's on the elevated basket. Get in, no. Pick a number between one and 25. 19, again. Stop choosing the same number. All right, that one's in. First bogey, not gonna be bogey free. And we're all back in their homes, but at least we had that stroke to give. Full seven is right behind the right side of those bushes. From here, 238 feet. Pick a number between one and 25. 12, look at, why? Meteor. If someone is good at math, give me the odds of it choosing the same disc. What has it been? 18 throws. And it's chosen this disc three times, another disc three times, another disc three times. How, what are the odds of that out of 25? All right, at least I'm pretty sure I'd be able to birdie with this one. Start finishing more. Stay in the shade. Pick a number between one and 25. Two. Okay. Okay, my camera's literally been shutting off because it's overheating too much. But I did also have to lower the frame rate. So I don't know if it'll be as smooth. I'll try to keep it as smooth in the edit. This way, it hopefully won't overheat. Let's see what our next number. Oh, our next number was two, which is actually this wizard, which I got in a tournament. Let's drain this part real fast. Or not. All right, it chose number four for us. I'm sure you can't see that screen. Oh, it's the warden that I brought because I aced with it. Nice. All right, here we are hole eight after another quarter mile walk. Going straight down the hill, 278 feet. Pick a number between one and 25. One, again. Yeah, someone's gotta do the math on this. Let's get an ace, why not? DX AVR 147 grams. Stay up, stay up and finish. Oh, that's fine actually. That's not bad, I mean, I got another 10 feet. Pick a number between one and 25. 18, haven't thrown this yet, T-Bird three. Works as a butter, not a butter, a putter. Back to down one, one hole to go, 228 feet. I don't think you can, no, you got a rock right in your way, right around it, on top of that hill. Pick a number between one and 25. Three, giving us a putter for the short hole. One, two, three. Ooh, I hate this disc. I got this, it's a BT Soft West Side Shield. I got it as tournament disc because I played it blind and got there the same day and there was only this left. I think it's pretty stable. I'll throw it around the rock and have it finish towards the basket. Oh, it's a little long. Not bad though. I think we're in business. You gotta be honest. I don't quite think it matters the next disc that I choose. Three, one. Oh, wait, th that's the same number. It's the same disc. All right, there we go. And with that, we're two down, which is not a good score if I was just to come out here and play. Throwing that wolf off the tee three times, almost in a row. Let me know if you want to see this become a series because this was a lot of fun to do. It's a pretty friendly course to whoever want to come and play it, but it is kind of boring. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. In this area, there are a lot of better courses.